so let's start animating. Um, as I say that, let's just quickly um, disable a few things, such as, I don't wanna have to click on this building, I'm not gonna move it. So if I go here on the right hand side, I can restrict the viewport selection. I cannot select that building anymore. So I'm gonna do it to the other three buildings. I'm gonna do it to the ground. Let's go to the market stands and the market carts as well. I'm also gonna click on the girl, child, <laughs> the band Asian, um, who I didn't rename properly. Um, that was from a previous short film. But this is the beauty of these characters is I can reuse them. Um, so now I can't actually really click on anything else other than the, uh, the bones and that's it and the camera. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna kind of move everything in line a little bit. I'm gonna press one. So they still seem a little bit off the ground. I'm gonna press G to bring them down. Maybe even bring them forward just to give that a little bit further apart. I mean, that they aren't actually just coming up against the wall. I do have a feeling that this flooring is a bit too thick, but we will fix that a little bit later. I just want to start animating and let's just get them in the right spot. Okay. So let's now start listening to what it is. So we're just going to listen to the first bit. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body through the town square and I brought it to her father's feet. So at this point here, he's pretty much walking all the way until I'm going to say here and then I brought to her far after. So probably about here. Let's go. We can set a marker there and I'm just going to animate this character's walk first. So first thing I'm going to go is into, whoops, I'm just going to go into pose mode and there's some really good uh, reference material just by Googling. So one thing I do, if I need to do something complex, but since I've done it now a few times, I'm actually pretty, um, pretty swift on it. I just typed into Google 2D walk cycle, and this is what I've come up. And it shows the steps on what you need to do to create a 2D walk cycle. Um, this is the picture here that I really like to use. Um, and hopefully I can just show you quickly how I get from point A to point B. So first up, I'm going to turn him around. Uh, S, X, minus one, enter. And I'm just gonna bring him over here for now. I'm also gonna turn on auto keyframing. Move all the way to the back here. So I'm gonna press record. And what's gonna happen is every time I move a bone, it's gonna record what I do. I just need to first select uh, the location, rotation, and scale. So it'll now, anytime I move a bone, it's going to remember. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set these bones to X-ray. So if I click on the object panel and click X-ray, now I can see all my bones. So first pose is legs spread apart. I'm going to bring him down a smidgen. I think that back leg's too far apart. Now you have to remember this, you can't do, this is not a 3D walk cycle, this is a 2D walk cycle. And as well, <coughs> excuse me, the legs aren't in line with each other. So this leg here is always forward. So when we do the, um, other half of the walk cycle, you'll see that the that the legs kind of seem to not go as far apart, but that's fine. Now, we know that he's gonna be carrying the girl's body, so I'm actually gonna lean him backwards. I'm gonna pop his arms out. And he's gonna be kind of walking like that. So, let us now, I'm going to R to rotate his foot as he's kind of going to start lifting his foot up. 
I'm going to have him kind of his foot's about to come down. Okay. And I'm going to select all the bones and press I. And I have now set a keyframe for every single bone. What I do now is I now go to the fifth frame. So one, two, let me start again. I press the right arrow to move a keyframe. So I go, this is the first frame, second frame, third frame, fourth frame, fifth frame. And on the fifth frame, his legs will be the opposite. Let's right click on that one. Okay, so if I press down and up, well, they're pretty much the same, um, but slightly different. Okay, so if I go back now to our starting frame, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and let's find our frames up here and we'll zoom in here. Just using the mouse arrow, mouse wheel. Okay, so I know that on the middle frame, the back leg, which was the back leg, I've got the back leg selected. The middle frame, his legs kind of like this and let's just move his upper body up. Okay. And the next frame is he's, he's kind of like at his highest point. So actually he already is at his highest point. So we might just track back a little bit. I'm just gonna bring this leg back. Let's bring this one down. Sorry, yeah, that way. Did I, oh no, I got all the keyframes. So at this frame, he will be at his uttermost highest. And what I'll do is I'm going to copy this, um, this keyframe by pressing the copy keyframe here. And I'm gonna go one, two, so this is one, two, three, four, five. And we'll paste that one as he's now starting to come back down. So we've got the beginnings of a walk cycle. However, this foot here, on the first frame it's pointing up, but on the second frame it's kind of like hit the ground. And on this frame, it's still we can kind of do it like that. We can get away with it. And I think that his leg will be a bit like this. So now let's go back to this frame. I'm going to select all, copy. One, two, three, four, five. This is the middle of the walk frame. Now let's go another on the fifth frame now. So one, two, three, four, five. And we will paste. So unfortunately, because this rig here, there's no left and right, even though I've marked the bones left and right, there is no left and right because this isn't a 3D object. It is a 2D object. Their legs aren't equal. The shoulders aren't equal. It just, it doesn't work. So that's why we have to do it manually. But at the end of the day, rather than um, having 50, 60 bones, we have to worry about the whole body consists of 13 bones. Okay. So this is our middle and one, two, three. We know, oops, let me select the back leg now. One, two, one, two, three, this is three. The middle will be looking kind of like this. He will be a little bit higher. And this frame here, the foot will be pointing down and he will be at his peak. And at this frame, he will be at his lowest. Same as this frame. All right, 
One, two, three. Okay, so what we can do now is I'm gonna select all these. I can go Shift D and I can move them all forward. I can select them all now, Shift D. And let's have a look, how much do they move? If I look in the bottom left of this window, down here, oh, down here will come up a number and that's how many frames have moved. So Shift D, 16. So if I go Shift D, 16, there we go. So where was my marker? All the way over here. But if we watch this now, as the town awoke, they saw it. Kind of silly. If I go back all the way here, select this frame, I select S to scale, and let's say by four. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body through the town square, and I brought it to her father's feet. Brilliant. I'm happy with that. Okay. G, X. I'm just going to move it out to the outside there. And what are we going to do now? So how about we, where do we want the, where do we want him to end? Okay. I'm going to now delete all keyframes for the master. And I mean, we can actually delete all keyframes. Now let's just delete this one for now. <coughs> delete. Now, where do we want him to finish? I kind of want him to finish probably about here. I do like this center area. So I'm going to have him finish there. And let's now move him back all the way to the start. And let's see how kind of he walks, see if his feet slide. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body. All right. So we could see that he like starts off slow and then he picks up. If you go into the graph editor, where are we? You can kind of see this Bezier curve. Now, if I press T, I can make this linear. So now he's going to walk in a straight line from when he starts. He's just going to go at a constant speed. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body through the town square. And I brought it to her. Seems like his feet slide a little bit. So if his feet are sliding, let's move him back. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body through the town square. And I brought... It looks kind of weird walking like that. So what we can do is let's, I do want him to do a bit of a slow walk. I think a slow walk would be a little bit more majestic. I'm going to select all these keyframes. Go back to the first keyframe. I'm going to scale my 0.25 because times four, and then we're dividing by four, which is 0.25. I'm going to scale by five. I'm going to give him a bit of a slow walk. Did I move my master? Okay. B. Oh, that's fine. Scale by five. And these two, I'm going to scale by four. And so he's going to but kind then of... then I realized what I had done. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body through the town square. That's a little bit better. It's uh, a little bit more pleasing. It's not like he's rushed. He's, oh, get stuffed. G. Excellent. And we'll leave it there and catch up in the next bit.